guys, it's me Yang and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to explain the three complement pathways. And these are the classic pathway, alternative pathway, and the lectin pathway. So I am first going to explain the pathway that was first discovered in 1900 and that is the classical pathway. So let's start! In each pathway, there is always a requirement for activation. And in case of the classical pathway, the requirement for activation is the antigen antibody complex. So once the classical pathway is now activated, the order of activation starts with the C1 followed by C4, C2, C3, C5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, right now, I am going to explain to you the order of activation. So, first, the C1 splits into C1Q, C1R, and C1S. So, C1S, guys, is the last one to be activated. So, this will split into C4 and C2. The C4 splits into C4A and C4B. C4A, guys, is anaphylatoxin. So, the C2 splits into C2A and C2B. C2A here is the major fragment. So, when the C4B and C2A is combined, it will form C4B2A or what we called the C3 convertase. So, the C3 convertase splits into C3A and C3B. C3A here is also one of the anaphylatoxin. So, yung isa pang anaphylatoxin ay C4A and then C3A. C3B here is the opsonin. So, when the C4B2A is combined with the C3B, it will form C4B2A3B or the C5 convertase. So, the C5 convertase splits into C5A and C5B. C5A is also one of the anaphylatoxin and it is the chemotaxin. The C5B is the membrane attack complex which splits into two. The C5B678 and C5B6789. So what is the difference between the two is that the C5B678 is the slow lysis of target organism and the C5B6789 is the faster lysis of target organism. So let us sum it up guys. Ano na nga yung mga anaphylatoxin? These are the C4A, C3A, and C5A. The major fragment is the C2A, the opsonin, C3B, and then the membrane attack complex is the C5B. So, ulitin ko guys from the top. As I said, in each pathway, there is always a requirement of activation. So, in case of the classical pathway, they require the antigen-antibody complex. So, it starts with the C1. The C1 splits into C1Q, C1R, and C1S. C1S splits into C4 and C2. The C4 splits into C4A and C4B. As well as the C2 splits into C2A and C2B. When the C4B and C2A is combined, it will form C4B2A or the C3 convertase. C3 convertase splits into C3A and C3B. When the C4B2A is combined with the C3B, it will form C4B2A3B or the C5 convertase. C5 convertase splits into C5A and C5B. C5B is the membrane attack complex which splits into C5B678 slow lysis of target organism and C5B6789 faster lysis of target organism. So that's it guys for the classical pathway. Let us now proceed to the alternative pathway. 
So, in case of alternative pathway, the requirement for activation is the presence of the bacterial polysaccharide or endotoxin. Okay, so once the alternative pathway is now activated, okay, the order of activation starts with the C3. So, here in alternative pathway, the bypasses the C1, C4, and C2 and starts with the C3. So right now, I am going to explain the order of activation here in alternative pathway. The C3 is hydrolyzed by water, giving you C3B plus factor B. So it will be C3B, B. So this B splits into BA and BB. So the C3B, B plus BB will give you C3B, BB, or what we called the C3 convertase. Okay, so the C3 splits into C3A, anaphylatoxin, and C3B, opsonin. So when the C3B, BB combined with the C3B, okay, it will form C3B, BB, 3B, or what we called the C5 convertase. So this C5 convertase splits into C5A, anaphylatoxin and chemotaxin, and C5B, membrane attack complex. So the C5B splits into C5, B678, the slow lysis of target organism, and the C5, B6789, the faster lysis of target organism. So, that's it guys for the alternative pathway. Nakakabulol lang siya, no? Kasi ang dami ng mga BB. Okay, pero once you familiarize, okay, the order of activation, okay, madali na lang yan siya guys. So, right now, let us now proceed to the lectin pathway, the last pathway. Hi guys, so let us now proceed to the last pathway, which is the lectin pathway. So, sa lectin pathway guys, once na familiarize nyo na yung order of activation in the classical pathway, eventually, alam nyo na rin yung selecting pathway. Kasi they are just similar, okay, may little bit of difference lang sila from the start. So, okay, let us now start. The requirement for activation in the lectin pathway is the presence of the manose or mannan sugar in a cell wall of organism. So the MBL stands for manus binding lectin, which is similar with the C1Q in the classical pathway. So MASP stands for manus binding lectin associated serin protease splits into two, which is the MASP1 and the MASP2. This MASP2 is similar with the C1S in a classical pathway. So here, the MASP2 okay, splits into C4 and C2. So dito pa lang guys, alam nyo na, na parang classical pathway na. So let us continue. The C4 splits into the C4A and C4B and the C2 splits in the C2A, C2B. So it says here, Proceed with the classical pathway because pag i-combine mo ang C4B and C2A, it will give you C4B2A or the C3 convertase. So, let's proceed now to the classical pathway. So, we are here now in the classical pathway, guys, but we are still discussing the lectin pathway. So, di ba we stop here? So, let's continue. The C3 convertase splits into the C3A, anaphylatoxin, and C3B, opsonin. So, when the C4B2A is combined with the C3B, it will give you C4B2A3B or the C5 convertase. So, the C5 convertase splits into C5A, anaphylatoxin and chemotaxin, and C5B, the membrane attack complex. So, the C5B splits into C5B678, the slow lysis of target organism, 
and C5, B6789, the faster lysis of target organism. And that's it guys for the complement pathways. So it may seem complicated dahil maraming numbers and letters, but once you know the order of activation, madali na lang siya. So yung importante lang naman guys dito sa complement pathways is dapat alam nyo yung requirement of activation ng each pathway, yung order of activation nila, and then the other term for the C3 convertase and the C5 convertase. So yung mahirap lang naman dito is i-familiarize yung other term of the C3 convertase and the C5 convertase. That is why ginawa ko tong video na to so that you don't have to memorize it anymore. Kasi kung i-memorize mo lang siya guys, so may tendency pa rin na makakalimutan mo siya. Sa dami pa naman na ginaaral mo for board exam, exam or quiz, may tendency talaga na makakalimutan mo siya. So in this video, intindihin nyo lang yung order of activation and makukuha nyo rin yung mga sagot sa questions. So that's it for this video. I hope that you learned something from me. So please like and share these videos to your friends who is also struggling sa complement pathways. And if you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, please click the subscription button and click the notification bell so you will be updated for my next video. I try to upload videos every week so make sure na nakasubscribe ka. So thank you for watching. See you in my next lecture. Bye!